area is called the umbra, and the temperatures in the umbra have been measured. The sun model is an anode tuft. How does the anode tuft work? And that's one of the things I'd like to spend some time on this morning. There is, of course, the penumbra. That's that orange ring that you can see. Penumbra. The dark inner area is called the umbra. umbra. And the temperatures in the umbra have been measured at, well, just something north of 3,000 Kelvin. So the umbra obviously is much cooler than the uh, normal uh, spots. That would be like the sun, though. Oh, well, it kind of looks like a star of David, tufts, sorta. Which are the the yellow region around the outside there. Hmm. Anyway, um, I said that Mati had sent me some interesting pictures from uh, now that. from Sapphire. There is one. Now the the purple wine glass in the back is not real. Mati has not been drinking. Uh, that's just an aberration of the photograph. This was taken inside a bell jar, and he is managed, he and his team, have managed to actually create anode tufts. Oh my gosh! Pur bright purple thing is a spherical, although it's distorted some by the, by the shape of the bell jar. It's pretty spherical and it's the anode, and riding on top of that anode are anode tufts. And so, uh, the major property of these anode tufts is that they're made up of positive charges. And as such, you can think to yourself, just basic knowledge of electricity, if those things are each one a group of positive charges, then they don't like each other. They're going to be repelling each other. And so you see they're quite evenly spaced over the surface of the sphere. Mm. And as you'll see in a minute, uh, when Mahdi increases the current, he increases the number of tufts and he increases the brightness of the tufts and finally they turn into something in the arc mode just like we see on the surface of the sun. So, as I said before... Oh my god, even that point. part looks just like the, the stuff uh, with the sun. The main basis of the, um, of the Jurgens model is an analysis of those tufts. And so we're going to be thinking of traveling in a line, if you can visualize from the purple surface there, the surface line. of the anode, up through the tuft and then out beyond the tuft. And let's think, what what would we expect to see there? I'll tell you what Jurgens expected to see there, and I think it's exactly what Monty is seeing and is going to see in his sapphire experiment. Sapphire, huh? Anyway, Jurgens electric sun model, and there it is. You've seen that picture many times. Every time I talk, I think I show it. The, uh, it's fairly complicated, but let's take it one step at a time, and I think, I think you can see uh, what I'm saying. The upper of one of the three graphs there is a plot. Well, all three of them, the horizontal uh, axis is the radial distance up from the surface of the sun up through the tuft and then out into the corona. The top graph plots the voltage that you would see if you had a voltmeter in your hand, you could have a ground.